Yo, Brad World, what's up? Um, real interesting um, PSA here, man, for my fans. Um, if you don't know, I do go by the name of Young Brad. You guys are Brad World. Team Triple R is what I rep. Um, as you can see, the, it's kind of empty behind me, man. It's because your boy is going back out to Los Angeles, man. Many uh, people don't know. Many people probably don't even care, but, you know, for my core fans, um, just want to let y'all know, you know, if it's something you want to do in life, take that jump, you know, do it. You're the only person that can hold yourself back. Not no money, um, not no relationship, not no kids, no nothing. A lot of people don't know, unless you follow me, you do. I got a son, um, been in the hospital for nine months. I'll touch on his, um, you know, uh, condition a little in another video, you know, but he's still in the hospital out here in Houston. Um, that's the biggest battle for me. You know, um, but I've been telling myself, I'm like, you know, hey, the doctor's not telling me how much longer he could be in there. It could be another nine months. At first, they were saying it was only going to be a month when he was born. It could be another nine months at that. So I'm not going to be able to work a day job or anything when he does get home. So I'm like, now it's my time to jump out there and build something for him, you know, with this vlog or with this YouTube or with, with the music. I shoot videos, you know, I shoot photos. You know, edit videos, edit photos, mix and master music, just vlog and stuff. There's so many ways out there to get it. I'm a dope writer, prolific writer, man. So, so many ways out there to get it. And I'm like, you know, that's where I want to be. That's where I need to be. That's where it's at. I lived there before a couple of years ago, but I did it all wrong the first time I went. I had a whole different mindset. Everything. It's all fucked up, but older now, more wiser, you know, um. And now I'm making this decision when I'm happy too. I'm happy with myself. Not just when I'm, you know, in desperate need to do something or I'm upset, you know, or I don't have the most money right now, but I make it work, you know? I think it's not about the money. It's just about the vision. And when you got a vision, you can do whatever you want to do. So a lot of people think it's crazy, but that's why I don't discuss it with a lot of people, you know? Only my subscribers, only people that follow me and really, really care. But y'all say goodbye to this place because y'all will never see it again. <laughs> but, you know, I'm going to miss uh, my babies. But definitely, you know, had to talk with Aaliyah's mom and, you know, um, she's going to come out there with me eventually. Well, Aaliyah's going to come out there with me after I go out there and get settled. So you guys will see her in the next few weeks, most definitely. I'm going to keep her channel rolling, too. And she'll be able to start school out there and stuff. So that'll be super dope. Super, super dope. So definitely support her channel. Link in the description. But going, man. No, I don't um, know exactly where I'm going to stay right now. But I get that I'll figure it out when I'm there. You know, step one is just getting there. And this time I ain't coming back. I'm coming back for a couple of occasions. I got some big occasions, which I'll announce to y'all. Um, also to see my son. That's it. So when I come back for like a week, um week or two at a time, it's only going to be to spend time with my son. Besides that, I'll either be on tour or doing something out here getting some money. But this time, I'm seriously going to change my life around. So, it's going to be a dope experience. Um, hope you guys can be on the journey with me. I'm going to vlog every single day. I don't know what all my vlogs are going to be about. It's going to be a bunch of behind the scenes, music videos, editing videos. Gonna be, I don't know, but it's going to be a whole bunch of stuff. But we're going to get it popping. I promise we will. And I want to look back at this in about, you know, six months or so, a year or so, and say, damn, I really got out there and got it. So, but like I said, man, follow your dreams. Don't let nobody tell you, you know, I'm sure I got more baggage than a lot of people, you know, with a daughter or son who's in the hospital still, don't know when he's coming home. And I had to talk with him, though, my son, and that's the most important person. That's the only opinion that really matters outside of my daughters. But I'll be making this move. You know, it's just more of, you know, I don't know when he's coming home, so why not go do it right now? If I get that phone call that he is, okay, be in a position to where, you know, I'm good. I don't have to work no job or nothing like that because that ain't a choice. That ain't an option. So just making sure I got to do what I got to do for him, you know, make sure I stay in touch with his mom, in touch with the doctors every day. And when I'm out here, spend that quality time with him, you know, so. People gonna have their opinions about, you know, all that makes him this, that makes him that, he should do this. But yo, if you don't take care of yourself, you can't take care of nobody. 
Take care of yourself first. Self-preservation, baby, that's what it's about. You can't take care of no kids. You can't take care of nobody, no, no woman, no man, unless you got yourself together first. A lot of people don't understand that, you know. I'm a risk taker at the end of the day. That's what I want to instill in my, my kids' heads. Take risks. Do what you want to do in life. Can't nobody do it for you. End of the day, though, I'm Young Brad. You guys are Brad World. I'm going to see y'all a little later because we're going to start doing this shit every day. You guys are going to take the trip with me. It's going to be super, super long. Yeah, I'm driving. I'm not flying. If it ain't fitting in the car, it ain't going. So see y'all later. Peace.